Hey guys, what's poppin' and we're here and today we have a latest video in the series on how to change your language in League for this year. Yes, this is pretty much the latest video you're watching on this and I promise you it works as you'll be able to see. Now this is mostly for people abroad or simply for people that like English character voiceovers and such. I'll also show you how to revert the changes so you can go back to your original language if you do not like our English launcher. For many of you that might have a question, is this bannable? The answer is no, not to my knowledge i know a few people that do this including myself and we've never got banned or anything like that but i do understand why would people worry about this since you're technically modifying the files of the game but in our case it doesn't give you any advantage over your opponents unless you play caitlin and you're motivated by her posh accent anyways without further ado let's get right onto the desktop and do this all right first things first what i did is open league of legends just to show you guys my current language it is japanese it is my current default language but um, we're going to change that to English. So I'm just going to go ahead and log out and uh, I'm going to close my launcher and now we can begin. So the first step is finding our League of Legends directory. The way to do that is if you have a League of Legends shortcut on your desktop, you can just hover with your mouse over the icon and you'll see see Riot Games Riot Client. Um, the, another way to do that is simply by right clicking on it, clicking properties and open file location. Now what you want to do when you get to this Riot Client folder is go to Riot Games and League of Legends, and this is what we're looking for. Um, however, if you do not have a League of Legends shortcut on your desktop, what you can simply do is open File Explorer, go to My Computer, Local Disk C usually. This is by the default installation directory of League, but if you chose another drive, just go to another drive where you chose to install League, and it should be in Riot Games and League of Legends. So not the Riot client, but League of Legends. Now we can put that here in the middle, and we're gonna scroll down until we see League client. So we are looking for League client.exe. It's going to say type application. If you have this sorting, what you want to do is right click on it and create a shortcut this is very important trust me so just make sure you create a shortcut it is a needed step now what you want to do is basically we can drag this shortcut onto the desktop it doesn't matter and we can just delete the shortcut part what we want to do next is right click on it click on properties and we'll get this property window right here what we need right now is this target box all the way up and what we want to type in there is go all the way right first of all space two lines locale equals en underscore g b capital this is the code for the english language and it is going to work as of right now it is december 2021 actually about to be 2022 so i don't know about the next year but right now this is working so after we wrote that just double check it there needs to be space uh two lines Locale equals EN underscore GB capital. Don't worry, I'll post this code in the description so you won't have to type it yourself if you're lazy or whatnot, but I'd suggest typing it yourself just to be sure. Click on apply and click on okay afterwards. Now that we have this league client right here, what we can do is just delete our League of Legends shortcut and replace it with the, our new shortcut. We can just rename it to League of Legends. Do not worry about the icon, it is going to change as soon as I start the launcher. As you guys will be able to see right now, I'm starting the launcher and the icon changed to normal to the live version. And the launcher as well as you can see, it says sign in, it's no longer Japanese so I'm gonna go ahead and sign in and show you guys how that looks like. And here we go, I just signed in, let's see what happens. There you guys go, my game is in English, that is my launcher. Now what I'm going to do is simply go into the custom game and show you guys that the whole game is actually in English and you can do this by yourself anytime. So we're gonna create a custom game on Summoner's Rift. Let's go ahead and start it. And we are in the game. The voice lines are English, everything is English, items English, also the abilities, everything is just, yeah, normal. So as I was saying, now I'm going to go ahead and close the launcher and show you guys how to revert these changes. Let's get into it. Okay, so now that we've closed the game, basically what we want to do is revert the changes we did. That's what I said I was gonna show you guys. So let's go ahead and do that. What we need to do is pretty much the same thing we did in the beginning. Like this won't work by 
right clicking on uh, the already existed shortcut that we've created and clicking on properties as you guys can see the target box changed to launch patch line live which means the game is live so you cannot just delete that and basically what that means is uh, we have to start all over again so go again to league of legends directory by now you'd probably have the league of legends shortcut on the desktop so you can just open file location and uh, we'll get to riot client what we need to do is click on riot games right here and then league of legends and we'll get to this folder once again we're gonna look for league client application or exe right click on it and create a shortcut and we'll have the shortcut again now we can delete our uh, newly created league of legends shortcut that we've put on the desktop for the english language and we can take this shortcut from the league client that we just created right click on it click on properties and in the target box go all the way to the right uh, space two lines locale equals and we put the code for our default language or the language we want to revert it back to add japanese so i'm gonna go ja underscore jp which is a code for the japanese language and i'm gonna click on apply and we're gonna put the shortcut to the desktop once again or we don't have to it's your choice completely and i'm gonna run it and let's see if my language changed to the language i had and so it did now it's going to download a bit for the voice lines and uh, just game package in general so it's going to be pretty quick since you already had that version of launcher Do not worry about that and i can just go ahead and log in and i'll have my japanese leak back so that was it guys i hope you enjoyed this video i hope it helped you out and uh yeah have a good day